Pepitas. Get up to 795 miles per tank in the all-new Passat TDI Clean Diesel, the 2012 Motor Trend Car of the Year. Good morning. Welcome back to White Mountain Today here on White Mountain TV 16. We are here. <laughs> we, we may not be here for much longer because Brody is a very affectionate dog and jumping all over Joe McBurney from Harvest Hills Animal Center. Uh, Shelter. Shelter. What is the center? Shelter. So how are you today, Joan? Good. We know how, how Brody you? is because he has been wicked excited, as Sit we down. would say here. Sit. Oh, look at, yeah. But he listens. He listens really well. He is just... Highly, I said something about jumping on the couch. He took it quite literally. Yeah, he yeah. got very excited by that. You got to turn around so people can see you, though. Turn around. Okay, sit. So All there's right, Brody. There. There we go. Look at the cameraman. Look no. at his hat. His hat is like made of rawhide. <laughs> he's not close enough for me to love him. That's it. <laughs> so, Joan, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for having us well, on. Well, I'm glad you could be here. How's things there at the Harvest Hills Animal Shelter? Things are going pretty well. Um, we're full. Um, 100, over 150 cats, 21 dogs. It's just kind of crazy. And we've got some major expenses. Um, you know, I think nose. sometimes everyone thinks animal shelters are just about spay and neutering. Right. And with the economy the way it is, I, some of the cases we're getting of the cats and dogs are just... Horrific. So, um, Brody's one of those cases. Uh, he is phenomenal. People who know me know Rottweilers are my like weak point. Um, unfortunately, I have a son who's allergic to cats and dogs. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. So and my you can't give him up. So no, can't give him up. And my allergist has been great, and we deal with it at home with air purifiers and vacuum cleaning every day. But bringing home a hairy Rottweiler might not be like the best thing ever. for him but for, for somebody else <laughs> oh it would be what? perfect I, when i tell you i want to take this dog home i really want to take this he's just great he's you know when the lady called needing to give him up she's you know we always ask why do you have to give up your dog and she's like oh he's a rottweiler he's too much and most of the time rottweilers are pretty laid back this guy is different and they are out there i've had a couple um he's very energetic so at the shelter, we met him, he's five years old. Um, she did keep him well. He's just a phenomenal, he's been a great office dog. He's great with other dogs, cats. I've had him around my son. He's wonderful. Um, he loves his toys and probably if I had brought him a toy, he wouldn't pretend the leash was one right now. But um, so at our facility, if you've been there, we have these big outdoor enclosures and dogs can run. And I'm very fortunate. Um, it's been very interesting for me in the last 10 years, the way the shelter has changed. Mm -hmm. So we now have nighttime dog walkers. So the dogs actually get fed twice a day um, and they go out probably three to four times a day. Oh, that's which great. Is fun I mean, yeah. yeah, it's a wonderful place. So in our wonderful outdoor enclosures, we do have some dogs that like to dig. And poor Brody hit a hole and tore his ACL at the shelter. Ouch. Yeah, and the, uh, we've had um, to incur quite a f large surgeries that have happened. We're seeing some pretty f horrible cases come through. I've had a cat with a prolapse rectum. Let's see, I've had to do eye surgery on a cat. I have an eye surgery on a dog. Uh, he needs an ACL. I have another dog who just had a leg amputated. A cat who's had an amputation. The vets are wonderful to us, but when you get cases like this, a surgery is a surgery. Right. And they treat us really great, but it's still, medicine's expensive, the food is expensive, all of it. So I brought Brody on today to Maybe encourage people, if you can't take him home like I can't, maybe you want to give some money towards his surgery. Um, I have contacted Rottweiler Rescue. I, I work with rescues as much as I can. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to see a dog sitting there. If a rescue already has an adoptive home, they do a fantastic <clears throat> service and adoption with their breeds, whether it's cat, dogs, you know, you name it. Yeah. 
so I contacted them. Um, never had great luck with them in the past because I'll tell you what, you have to be pretty phenomenal to pass their screening. Really? Well, last Sunday, Brody did pass. And um, I knew he would, because he's just great. There's no food aggression, toy aggression. There's like four or five pages of temperament testing that this place does. Wow. And because he's a male, he has to be tested twice. So I am going to pass him along to Rottweiler Rescue if they're able to find him a foster home and a home, because there's going to be quite a bit of recovery after this um, surgery is done. Yep. But you know, I would love to keep him in our area. I would love to see him adopted through the shelter. I would like nothing more than that. But you know, we have to think of the shelter and the money that could go to his surgery. It could spay like 20 cats. So you have to weigh those options oh, exactly. and what you can do and can't do. And the cat population is just still bad. Yeah, you were saying that before. And, uh, and it's just a, it's such a simple thing to spray, your, uh, spay, spray. <laughs> to spray a cat, uh, <laughs> to uh, spay or neuter a cat. And uh, so it is one of those things, of course, that's, that's a big thing that you guys encourage. And we do, and we have a clinic. Um, we have a list. When you call in, we do only about 15 cats a month. Um, Freiburg Vet is phenomenal. They donate their time. They, we have our own clinic at, at our facility and surgery room downstairs. And we do about 10, 10 to 11 males, four females a month. And it doesn't sound like a whole mu much, but it's, it's to help. It's yeah. like for people oh, with sure. low incomes. Um, but there's so many places out there. Uh, the state of Maine, I don't know all the stuff for New Hampshire, but I know the state of Maine gives away money a couple times a year. You get a certificate, you go to a participating veterinary hospital. We give out the Rosie May number. There's a vet that does affordable spay and neuter. There's, another, there's clinics everywhere. Every shelter now almost has a spay and neuter clinic. Yeah, I just found out about that recently. I was very surprised by that. And it's great. It's a great... Uh, there's no reason not to get yeah. it done. You well, that's what I'm say, saying, yeah. You can't say a vet's too expensive. You know, they have to eat and employ their people, too. And that is the way to go if you can do it. But if you can't do it, don't ignore it. Right. Seek out help. There is help out there. You know, we get, I've, I've heard every story, I think, in the book, and now we're getting phone calls from, like, Skowhegan to take cats. It's just, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. And people get mad at us, actually, if we can't help them. And that's frustrating, because we want to help everybody. And there's legitimate people, there are people losing their homes, they're moving in, they're sleeping on a couch. There's real stories out there that need help versus the person who just decided fluffy doesn't match the furniture anymore. Yeah. And I know people can't imagine that that is, happens or is said, but it does. Oh, I can believe that. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Harvest Hills, of course, you're located, uh, what's, what's the official address of Harvest Hills? We're 1389 Bridgeton Road in Freiburg. We are so on the Bridgeton Freiburg line, I can throw a rock to Bridgeton. And then you can get a dog to fetch it. You can get a we dog to it. fetch it. It's a beautiful place. I'm proud of it. Um, we have a thrift store that helps us out tremendously. So Christmas is around the corner. You go get a Yankee Swap gift that is nice, but you don't care to keep it. Donate it to the <laughs> thrift store. It will help the animal. Well, that sounds great. So if anybody wants to uh, to donate money, of course, uh, donations are uh, happily accepted oh, there nice. at Harvest Hills. And also, I don't, like you say, it would be a great Christmas gift. Say, you know what? I'm going to give something to the animals there at Harvest Hills. You know, and if you're looking for an animal, there's definitely uh, some opportunities there. So Yeah, and our website, harvesthills.org, you can pay, do PayPal. You can find our address, you can send us a check, you can come visit us and see the animals and see how well they're taken care of. We're, we're proud. We want people to come in and see the facility. Yeah, but it's, you know, you're going you're gonna to get your heart broken. You're going to want to go. You're going to want to bring uh, bring Brody home. No, your heart's going to open up. Well, that's what I meant. You know, you know what I meant. So, well, Joan, thanks so much for coming down today. And uh, and hopefully you'll have a happy, happy holidays with all the puppies. Thank happy you. holidays because there's bunnies there. Is that? <laughs> and, uh, boy, this is just one of those days. So, uh, and Brody, good to see you. Brody, Hopefully you'll bye -bye. go to a new home very soon. <laughs> and uh, definitely check out the website, harvesthills.org. And we'll